Hello and welcome to Kenix and Christ on Mawr. Oh, my dear, what a out of farm. It's been really busy on the farm today. We've had to kill our pig. We've been keeping him for all over the summer and feeding him the scraps so nothing went to waste. But it's the time of year now. We need to think about how we're going to feed ourselves over the winter and into the next year. So we had some friends over from the farms nearby and we all came together and killed our pig. And with the soft bits, we'll keep those and make them into some faggots, which we'll share then around with our friends, the people who helped us to kill the pig. And then... With the rest of it, we need to think about salting. And it's a good day for today. It's nice and cool. So we'll do some salting. Oh, so to um, start your salting, you're going to need a good bowl. Lots of people use a pitch-lined bowl because the salt can really damage your um, crockery. But this is an old bowl, so I don't mind if we're using the salt in this. And you need to make sure as well that it's a nice cool day. You don't want to be doing this when it's too hot or the meat will spoil. And for that reason, we haven't lit the fire and we've left the back door open. Now, to start off with, we're going to put two pounds of table salt into this bowl. Just your normal salt, everyday salt. And this mixture will be enough to cure a good sized piece of meat from your pig. To that, we're going to add some uh, brown sugar, coarse brown sugar. You want about, oh, I don't know, four ounces of that. And then four ounces of sea salt as well. Now, the last thing we want to put in is uh, the saltpeter, which is a type of curing salt. Now, this one, its job is to keep the meat looking nice and pink. You don't have to use it. But if you don't, your meat won't look very appetising. It'll be sort of a brown colour, grey colour. So this keeps it nice and pink. Nanny, everything in the bowl. Now we're going to stir them all together. You want to get a really good mixture. To make sure that it's all combined before you add your meat. And now that's all mixed together, it's time to go and get the meat. So when you've got your meat in the mixture, you want to make sure that you get the salt all over the meat. So you want to rub it into all the little nooks and crannies. Don't leave anywhere. And be prepared for some liquid to come off of this after a few days. You want to make sure you drain that liquid off. Don't leave it sitting in the liquid. And then once you're happy, it's all covered in your mixture then you, will, uh, you can leave this in the bowl for about five days to a week, no more than 10 days. And then you can hang it up above the fireplace and the smoke will finish the job of curing the meat and keeping it all through the winter. But if you wanted to salt and dry it more, you can leave it in a salt mixture for about five weeks and then you'll get a much more dried meat out of it. And there we are, it's ready now. Leave it in the salt for the next few days and then we can hang it up and it should last over the winter and into the springtime. But probably not, I think it'll probably be all gone by then. 